there has been this really strange and odd debate that's been brewing on the social media feed that I've never really, I've kind of understood, but also kind of makes me a bit sad for humanity in general. And this is weird debate that people have been, you know, talking back and forth about, which is the dinner with Jay Z or five hundred thousand debate, which I've seen, you know, pop up from time to time on the timeline. But for some reason, it kind of captured everyone's imagination over the last couple of days because probably people are bored and got nothing to do. And basically, the premise behind it is that the question is that oh, because Jay Z is such an influential and you know incredible be successful rich billionaire hip-hop dude um would you rather have a dinner with him where he can maybe unlock the keys and tell you some information that you would never have gotten or you know had the opportunity to maybe break bread with him so he can maybe become a future mentor to you whatever it may be or do you rather take the cash and use that cash to 500,000 specifically 500,000 dollars or pounds in order to kind of invest in your business and to me it sounds kind of or to, just to have you so I don't know whatever you want to do if you want to spend it on flipping Pokemon cards to me it sounds like a bit of a no-brainer take the money of course right this idea this idea that somehow sitting down with jay-z is going to be worth more to your life than five than what five hundred thousand can do for the immediacy of your bills and your family whatever you want to do is preposterous and if anything speaks to this idea or speaks to this weird assertion that people have where they want to be like co-signed and brought in that's where it kind of think it comes from they think like the look and the networking and this is the reason why x y and z person is successful i think it obviously is true in some people's cases you look at somebody like who are featured on my podcast and channel on youtube a lot somebody like a brendan Shaw, who a lot of people really hate and part of the reason why a lot of people hate him is because they think genuinely that he's terrible what he does and they also generally think that he's only at the level that he's at because of that joe rogan cosign right joe rogan puts him on his podcast it boosts his profile and then helps his podcast grow and then he goes and does his own thing but what they're missing is that He's still working hard recording his own podcast. Two or three, I think he's got like five now. He does it in a week, even if they're not of good quality. He's still having to sit down and do them, produce them, put them out there, whatever it may be, making merch. So what that Joe Rogan cosign did, what did is just amplify his voice, right? But it's not as if like Joe Rogan gave him a career right he already had one and Joe Rogan basically allowed him the platform to maybe get the opportunity to get sponsors to get more downloads on his show to get more adsense money to maybe book more comedy shows whatever it may be called that's what it usually gets you but so it's really it's really kind of naive to think you can go from a zero not doing anything just sit down with a Jay-Z and that's enough or you zero and sit down with Joe Rogan that's enough I would imagine the Joe Rogan example is the best example because for the most part apart from comedians for the for the most part everybody that sits down with joe rogan on these podcasts usually has something to promote whether it's them as a service whether it's a product they're releasing whether it's a new study they're working on they've always got something that they want to sit down and talk about and then from there they kind of that's that kind of like the launching off point and then kind of meander off into, into different topics but there's no one that goes on there just to kind of sit there just to kind of figure out what they want to do with their life they don't really do that jeremy you know I mean? maybe it might happen in the course of a conversation with somebody but you don't just go in there and be like oh joe help me out i don't know what i'm doing i'm confused that doesn't happen you have to kind of figure out what you want to do in order for, for me, in my head, I would think, figure out your own life, then that will make the Jay-Z dinner worthwhile, right? Because then you'd be in a position where like, you know, you're making $500,000 worth in sales, whatever you're doing, or you've got enough opportunities or enough things in the, in the you know, enough bookings in the background that it wouldn't really cost you much to kind of take maybe the opportunity of sitting down with someone like that and not take the monetary value, which a lot of people would argue, hey, sitting down with Jay-Z is a once in a life opportunity, the money you could always make. But I don't necessarily guarantee, I don't necessarily think that's true. I don't think, most people are going to make 500000 in their lifetime. I know I will because I, I I believe in my abilities and my talents and shit. And I'm a hard worker in that regard. And if I can keep on doing the things that I'm doing to the level I'm doing, eventually I'll get there. It doesn't matter if, I, if it's not now when I'm 50 or when I'm 60 or whatever it may be. But still, most people don't, won't even earn 500000 in their lifetime. So having the ability to take that money and be able to kind of, you know, maybe give, give some money to your family, take your mom on holiday, give your brother something. Um, I don't know, pay some debts off. That's a big deal. You should maybe do that instead of thinking about the sitting down and networking and sitting down with somebody like a Jay Z. That's going to show you. No, it's not going to do nothing. And again, I've all, I think maybe it comes from my own deep rooted resentment for the scene and stuff I've grown up in, especially in London, you know, trying to traverse and network within the streetwear, DJ, nightlife scene and stuff, whatever I've seen around places. Like, I've hated all of, I, I, the, the reason why I hate kind of like, you know, loitering and kind of, you know, making friends in there for the most part was that most of the people were just trying to obviously, 
run up the ladder and clout chase but most of it was like everyone was looking for a cosign looking for someone to hold the door open for them to help them out put them on the list all this sort of shit i was like nah i want to be undeniable in what i do on my own regard fair enough if somebody can do you a favor and put in a list that's all well and good safe for that i mean i could jump and not have to queue up and whatnot outside in the cold but for the most part i'd love to be like I'd love to be kind of considered as a peer to these people as opposed to somebody that's just waiting there for handouts or waiting for an opportunity, waiting for somebody to kind of give you a wink or something. Nah, that's not the game. And if anything, the heroes I kind of look up to, the people that I'm kind of wanting to emulate, the Hiroshi Fujiwaras, the DJ Harveys, the Larry Levines, um, whoever it may be, right? Um, the Seymour Powells, the design studios, right? All these people, they're just like humans like you and I, and they just went and did the thing. They didn't wait for somebody to give them a handout, to give them a cosign. They just did the thing. They became undeniable. And then people started sucking them off. Do you know what I mean? That's how it kind of works out. And then you and then, then you become the person in the Jay-Z position where people are saying, oh, yeah, I want to just sit down with coffee and just, you know, I want to, you know, um, uh, touch base and, you know, break bread and have it, whatever it may be. Then you become that person. But this idea that somehow a meeting with Jay-Z is going to change your life more than maybe 500,000 would, especially for like a general dude just sitting doing nothing, guy or girl, is that shit crazy so the article here from the um, hip hop dx is the following a friendly debate erupted on twitter earlier this month earlier this week sorry that had the hip hop fans choosing between dinner with jay-z and 500,000 Half of the course, the responses were mixed. Some her fans got really deep about their belief. So it is what it is. Um, one person said the following. I'll explain since most can't comprehend. Did it with Jay-Z is the better option over 500,000 because of the knowledge and expertise that he has. He'll give you the blueprint on being wealthy and successful. His knowledge will be worth long term than the short term 500,000. That's insane. What do you, how, how long do you think dinners last? Do you think he's going to sit down with you and, and pull out a flipping whiteboard and go through your entire life and how you're able to do things and to kind of, you know, make more money or get more deals, whatnot? And also, there's an argument to be had for how good of a businessman is Jay Z really? Like, is he just what, is he just the equivalent of what every other rich person or somebody with notoriety is in this position where, no, don't get me wrong, let's, let's rewind that. Maybe Jay Z, what he's been able to do has been to be, he's been very successful or very, He's very good at what he does, right? Which is rapping, right? That's his that's his bread and butter. He's been, you know, r widely regarded as the best as, as the best to ever do it. Being the best that you ever do it in your field allows you the opportunity to get some deals, allows you the opportunity to maybe get some looks that you probably wouldn't get if you wasn't Jay Z, right? If you if you if you wasn't Jay Z, you probably wouldn't be getting some of those deals and some of those contracts, some of those looks because you're not the best that ever did it. Because obviously there's a mutual benefit from the person that wants to give you the deal and from you obviously coming in and you know and whatever working on some sort of plan. So this idea that he has some sort of like you know savant level business expertise is really stupid because he's been able to really make it work for himself but whether or not he can do that for others is remains to be seen especially just strangers that he hasn't necessarily interacted with previously and obviously this this dude too side hustle king is definitely one of those guys that has like you know a course on gum road that he sells and stuff about how to buy stuff off amazon and flip on ebay and all that nonsense right so it makes sense for him for him something like that maybe having um, an insight into maybe how jay-z saves money or how he invests or how he puts things on payment plans I don't know whatever there'll be some little tidbit that he could use that would obviously help him going forward but for the average folk it's definitely something that doesn't make any sense and obviously the title account then hit back and said take the five hundred thousand which obviously everyone um knew with common sense um let's see what's, what, nothing, no nothing else to read yeah but yeah that's just again stupid debate didn't even make any sense at the time but again goes to show the obsession that we have with celebrities in general right is kind of unhealthy and also this weird idea that people have that if you just sat down with the right person if you bumped into the right person if you were in front of the right person if you were sat next to, all this stuff is somehow going to allow you to go and reach the levels that you need to reach and to actualize your dreams no most of the time 99% of the time is down to you. Can you come back from work and dedicate 7 p.m. to 1 p.m. to your dreams consistently? Monday to Sunday without without interruption without kind of you know mistake without dropping it off can you do that back to back to back can you forego weddings um, funerals anniversaries holidays so you can actualize your dreams and do it then yeah commit to it in that way and then if that doesn't work for like a good five ten years then maybe it might be an option to go sit down with a Jay or somebody who's kind of mentor so they can maybe, you know, you could maybe just ask, am I just doing this wrong? Should I just give up and do something else? Maybe that might be a good idea. But if you're just starting out or you're just on the road to getting your thing, wasting your time sitting down with Jay-Z to have a chat, it's just, it just doesn't make any sense personally. But again, I could be in a minority.